Hey y'all, welcome, welcome back to Artistic License, my Thursday stream where we do a little bit of whatever I want. And today we're gonna be playing some more Final Fantasy X. We're still working on those original creations. We got two of them last week. We're gonna try to get more than two this time. <laughs> I'll show you guys what we did when we get into the game. Welcome in Koneko. Koneko with the first, so you know it's gonna be a good ass stream, right? Um, and yes, we're gonna be tackling Greater Sphere first, which apparently takes forever. So I did do some looking um, on how we can maybe do that faster. I did that like, like Sunday or Monday or something like that. Um, so I've got some ideas, but I definitely need a refresh on the strategy because that was like many, many days ago. <laughs> so welcome guys. Thank you so much for, um, for coming here today. We are going to go ahead and get started like we like to with our personality quiz. Um, this is very pink. It's making my face very pink. I am absolutely loving that. Uh, which emo are you? Which emo are you? So here we go. Uh, this just says follow their instas. There's no there's no fun quiz introduction this time, but I definitely need to know which kind of emo I am. Oh, I just realized I still have my name below. <laughs> um, hang on. We don't need that for Thursday. Let's see. I don't I don't need that. Uh, there. We don't need my name this time. All right. Let's start the quiz. What color is your hair? Red, any, or any dyed color? Oh, I guess red or crazy colors is that. Um, brown, black, mop, fro. I guess those are hair colors in the emo world. Notice blonde is not on here. <laughs> so back in the day, I did actually used to dye my hair red when I was like in high school and in college and stuff and even quite a bit into my adult life, but I kind of stopped. My hair overall as I got older got darker and it's kind of like reddish-ish anyways. So um, yeah, uh, red. This is actually silly because my hair is naturally brown, but I dyed it red, but the red grew out. So what color is it now? Uh, bread <laughs> is bread color. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go with red for mine. Okay. Who's your fave music? Who is your fave music? I love that. Oh, these are all like newer. All right. So we've got Chris Travis, Mitski. Why is Chris Travis on here? Anyway, um, <laughs> that's right. Exactly. Koneko. It's bread color. Cigarette after sex, blade twice, ocean wave sounds, my bloody Valentine, Tyler, the creator, a little Tekka, uh, my bloody Valentine, obviously out of this list. But this is like fake emo. Like where is dashboard confessional? Where is my chemical romance? I don't, uh, I'm kind of not trusting this quiz after that question. What object would you pick? True religion, cameras, cherry, the moon, stars, women, um, empires, Instagram, or pearls, the moon. Uh, pick an animal. Oh, cat is the first one. That's obviously what we're going with. Uh, we've also got serpent, bat, gorilla, red panda, butterfly, fox, alpha wolf, or ferret. I guess you can't be a, a beta wolf or an omega wolf. This is omega erasure, um, and we're not here for it. But cat is the answer. Once again, no, none of the musicians. Uh, poor Koneko. You should at least listen to Mitski. That's, uh, she's popular and good. Um, how well do you do in school? I have straight age average. I guess I'm failing all my classes. Um, I guess the closest answer to how I did in school was straight A's, but that's like not really true. But I wasn't average. I was definitely above average. So we're just going to go with the straight A's. I think that's that's the vibe anyway. Opinion on carts. What are those? I fuck with them. I only like Nick. Is there like a new Zoomer emo movement that I'm not aware of? I thought this was going to be like about 2002. Mm, uh, mm. It didn't load your result. Oh, no, go Neko. What the heck? I guess you're not an emo. <laughs> you're not an emo. Opinion on carts. I don't know. I mean, I grab a grocery cart when I when I go shopping. I mean, I go to the I go to the thingy and I get the buggy. OK, so there we go. I fuck with them, I guess. How do you dress like a homeless, like an emo slut slash Lana Del Rey coquette? I used to actually do this. Um, I would go to go to the hot topic and to the thrift stores and get all the stuff like a lesbian, true religion, male. We're going to go with this because I also answered other questions as my high school, college self. So 
so it only shows the name it doesn't show the descriptions even though there should be one what the heck oh my gosh thank you so much jane thank you so much for the applause and welcome in how are you doing by the way today jane um i feel like it's been a second since i've had you in the beginning of the stream here i'll, I'll link the quiz again so you can do it i think i broke the quiz i guess you did koneko maybe you're you're like the anti-emo anti-emo <laughs> uh what are your parents like they literally don't care slash never home strict as fuck man they're all right super good relationship none of us have this um they were okay i was a the firstborn child so they were quite strict with me but not with my sister but i wouldn't say they were strict as fuck i definitely i definitely had like other friends that were stricter also i was the child that would just take the punishment you know like i wasn't allowed to do this or that or whatever and then i would just do it and then i would just get in trouble I would just suffer the consequences and still do what I wanted. <laughs> I don't know what that says, but that's what I would do. What's your love language? Touch, gifts, words of affection, quality time, acts of service. I'm large, dense, and love quiz time. Fuck yeah, me too, Jane, me too. <laughs> uh, hopefully we'll break the secret bosses just like that. There we go. Okay, um, definitely for me... It is acts of service and touch. We're gonna go with acts of service because that's more how I'm it's more how I'm feeling at the moment, you know. Pick a location. My house. I can't leave <laughs> my room, metal show, pro bowl riding show. Huh? Slutty emo church. Is that like the <laughs> like the uh video? Oh, what's that my chemical romance song? I can't remember the title. Anyway, Subway Surf Tracks. What the fuck is it? Sub what is this? Boy, sir, what is this? I have no idea. I have no idea. Anyway, the answer is my house. JP, S tier emo, emo incel, no mother. And it's a catch up. What? This quiz was stupid. Why was it trending? Why was this quiz trending? This is dumb. What? I'm so sorry I gave you guys a bad quiz. I thought this was going to be about emos. But it's like Zoomers making fun of emos or something. I think that's what I just took. I think I just... I think I just took a quiz where Zoomers made fun of emos. I feel like I got trolled. I feel like they played me. They got me. Zoomers got me. Wow. Good job, I guess. I thought I thought it was going to be about emos, but it's not. All right, let's play the game. Let's play the game. Let me get the game open. Okay, here we go. Let's get some doodly doos. Okay, what does that look? How does that look on the volume? I think that looks pretty good. I think that looks pretty darn good. Okay, here we go. The heck and heck. I thought we were doing a quiz about emos. Oh, we were doing the quiz about emos. Thank you so much, Koneko. Thank you so much. We're going to go into the greater sphere. Okay, let's also pray that my controller comes on. Yes, it does. Okay. I think I might have to get a new controller. It's not like connecting properly to the dongle. Um, okay, while you're doing that, Koneko, I'm just going to explain what I did. So you will see that most of my people have max uh, HP. Yuna even has max MP. That's because I went through and got them all 99 sphere levels okay so we're gonna zoom out so you can see like a lot of them are covering this is like how much of waka covers of the sphere grid now um yuna like has like all this okay titus i mean you get the idea right so they're all they're all like this now um so i leveled them all up i farmed a fuck ton of spheres like i think i farmed 99 spheres two times and then after I was done with this, I did it once more. So I still have 99 spheres right now for any level ups that we do during stream. Um, so yeah, I did that with the Dauntaun Berry trick, which several Final Fantasy streams ago, I showed you guys how you can do that trick. But that's what I did off stream. Okie dokie. So where we left off last time is we fought under the originals. We fought Earth Eaters and beat him. We fought Catastrophe and beat him. Now it's time to fight Greater Sphere. Um, and Koneko, so graciously, has all of the all of the beats for us. Um, unusually time consuming. Yes, that's why I leveled the fuck up. Uh, autos, yes, I do that. High magic defense. 
is vital. Okay, so we should probably cast Shell. Um, vulnerable to an element, but it's random. Um, it absorbs wholly. That's lovely. Let's see. Alternate between a normal attack and unleashing hydraulic press, which deals fractional damage. 15 out of 16, it almost kills everybody, basically. The damage can be reduced by using Protect and Defend. All right. All normal attacks are counted with Ultimate, Lovely, or Flare. Healed with potions for every overdrive. Okay. When farming Greater Sphere for Lux Spheres, the player will want to do as fast as possible. Yes, that's true. Fastest strategy uses Titus and Waka's overdrives. Okay, I've got Titus, Waka, and Yuna in my party. So that's good. Oreo! The wall is not a scratching post. Baby. Calm down. Okay. Another helpful strategy is to summon Anima and cast Protect Haste and Regan when Anima loses health. She should cast Kiraga and use Oblivion when it becomes available. <laughs> or we know. I'll tell him that next time he's bad. We bought extra scratching posts because he will not stop scratching up the walls. Um, He actually really loves it. We bought this really tall one for the bedroom because there's not really room in there width-wise. So it's like super tall. Um, It like actually has a ceiling attachment <laughs> so that it doesn't fall over. It's great. Um, da, 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 da. Anima may suffer damage from a toilet press up to three times, which may end up killing her. The strategy is unviable. On the PAL versions, if Anima is properly trained, there's no need to use Oblivion. She can simply attack. Good to know. Okay. I think we're, I think Anima's gonna wreck. Anima's gonna absolutely wreck. Okay? You guys ready? You guys ready to let mother-in-law wreck? Okay. It's time. It's time to get the fuck going with mother-in-law. Let's do it. First, we will slice and dice. As the strat says. Oh my god. If I can hit it, I can't hit it. It's time to ponder the orb. Yes. Well, ponder the rectangle? Because he becomes a rectangle? Like, it's okay. Like, here we go. Hydraulic press. All right. So I think before we do his overdrive, because he'll hydraulic press again, um, we have to heal up. Okay, Waka ain't got no healies. But that's okay. Waka got... Waka can mega potion. Ponder the ditto. Yes! We are pondering our ditto. Okay. Um, before we grand summon, let's actually continue to heal. Let's actually continue to heal. Yes. Yes, baby. Okay. We heal up. We heal up before we do anything else. Because it's the counterattacks that are going to destroy me. I do remember that from last time, how he, like, counters every fucking thing. Okay. Titus can Kiraga, though. Titus, Kiraga yourself. Thank you. Okay. Yuna's turn. Let's anima. All right, Giggles. Show us what you got. <laughs> That's right, Koneko. Koneko, do we don't have a sound? We don't have a Vaporeon slash potion sound alert. Um, we should have probably do one. I feel like that's a good idea. Okay, so protect taste and Regan. Let's protect taste and Regan first. Um, white magic. Uh, protect. She protect. Okay, she protect. Yep, and then Hydraulic Press. And then we Haste. Okay. Call it Heal Vaporeon. Oh, I love that, Koneko! Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, let's Heal. And then we'll cast Regan. And then we'll Oblivion. Okay. Uh, let's see. Regan. Gonna hydraulic press again, um, but we're gonna overdrive. What have you been up to lately, Koneko? By the way, I feel like last stream because of um, everything that was going on and stuff, and you know me trying to spend time with Ri, I really didn't like ask you guys how you were doing or what was going on. So I feel like I'm not updated. I'm not updated on the Koneko life. Um, how are you doing? Oh, don't kill him. Okay. Thank God. All right. Let's, um, Kiraga. Here we go. Yes. Oh, I didn't, I wasn't even paying attention to the Pokemon. I didn't catch that drowsy. Okay. Wait, how much? Okay. No, we should cure again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Bitch. 
Okay, we're gonna cure again. Still on vacation, went to Hastings today. Ooh, what did y'all do in Hastings? That sounds super fun. I would love to go. But I don't know what's um, what's to do in Hastings, really. I never really looked into it. <clears throat> oh, he's gonna hydraulic. Oh, he's gonna... Okay. No, the regular attack wasn't too bad. Okay. Well, let's heal up. Yes. Okay, and then I guess let's do pain. Let's get some pain. Went to the aquarium and then walked around the old town. Went to a shipwreck museum. Oh, that's fun. So no Battle of Hastings related stuff for for that you need to be in a battle. <laughs> and yes, we've been there too. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> Oh, that sounds cool, though. I love aquariums. Um, I think they're so fun. Okay, let's heal once more, and then we'll Oblivion again. We're thinking about maybe possibly going to Myrtle Beach this weekend. I don't know. Um, we're kind of going back and forth, but it is Levi's birthday on Monday. His birthday is um, International Talk Like a Pirate Day, same day. So, um, we're gonna do something for his birthday, but we're thinking about going to Dirty Myrtle. <gasps> oh, overkill too! <claps> Thanks, Mom. You're the best. You're the best mom ever. Beating up all my enemies. It's literally a place called Battle. It's not a joke. What the fuck, really? The place where the Battle of Hastings happened is now in a town is now a town called Battle. Oh my god, I did not I did not know this. Okay, I have some fun pics from the aquarium. I put some in the Discord. Oh, thank you, Koneko. I will tell him you said happy birthday. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love fishies. I love fishies. So we sh you should put those in there. Okay. Um, let's save. Let's save. Okay. Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. And another one down. And another one down. And another one bites the dust. Da -da -dum, da -da -dum, dum -dum. Another one bites the dust. Okay, let's fear grid. <laughs> yes, another one bonked down. You can see I got like 99 of every sphere. Trying to like try to I try to be prepared this time. Try to be prepared. All right, all right. So Thuban is next. Thuban is next. Um, I really liked that strat we just used. To be honest, I wonder if it would do good on Thuban. Um, let's find out, shall we? And Koneko, if you paste in the thingies, I will read them for the Thuban. We're gonna just try him. We're just gonna try him and see what happens. He's scurry. He's scurry. He's scurry scurry. Okay. Um, let's do some shell. It can't hurt. It can't hurt to shell up. Okay. Let's do some energy rain. Oh my god. My aim is like super off. All attacks will be countered with condemn and nasty physical physical attack that inflicts delay, gross, and removes several beneficial status effects. Attempting to inflict delay or slow will cause Thuban to counter with haste. Ouchie! Yikes! That protect saved his life. Okay, well we gotta get everybody up now. Mm-hmm. Okay. Along with swipe, Thuban will unleash rainbow. Oh yeah, I do remember you telling me about rainbow last time. Um, then Rainbow, then cast Protection on Regan on itself, then use Convergence, Thuban cast Regan on itself. It lasts for 10 turns. Yikes! If Thuban has Protection on Regan, it will do nothing. This will also the counter. Okay, high agility defense and strikes are vital, ensuring a powerful team hitting for 999 each time. Um, permanently attached boosts such as Auto Haste and Auto Protect are needed. Okay. Alright, okay. Alright, okay. Uh, Alright, okay. 
This is gonna be hellish. I don't know, I don't know. But I'm way leveled up now. So, you know, it could be okay. We'll find out. At least he didn't kill me like he did last time. Um. Oh, everybody has shell in haste. Uh-oh, I don't have my protect armor on. Okay, well, we're gonna protect. Um, Ivaka a Kiraka. Okay, what are you gonna do? The swipey bitch. Yep, bitch. We don't like it. We don't like it. Okay, we're gonna cast Protect on everybody. Um, I, even though I should have put their Protect armor on. I must have put on Shell armor specifically before because of the guy we were just fighting and then I just totally forgot that I did that to prepare. Um, I bet you anything that's what happened. All right, get Yuna. Why don't you Kiraga on Waka? All right, now we can attack again. Let's attack reels. Oh, shit. Shit, that was really bad attack reels. <clears throat> Yes, yes, auto abilities don't dispel, and he's gonna dispel all anything that I do. Oh, gross. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We just keep curing. Can't let them stay low. Oh no. This is the status bullshit. This is the status bullshit. I might have to have Orin in the party. And we're all dead. Fabulous. Love it. I love this for me. It's wonderful. Okay. Um, oh, that was scary. Okay. Let's refresh. Let's try to do nest slug. Yeah, because I remember about nest slug and it's just like beat him up really fucking fast. So I think let's try nest slug and bust out some aeons on nest slug's ass. Um, some, yeah. Well, energy rain and, uh, Ah, bitch, there we go. Yeah, let's energy rain. Let's do some overdrives. Uh, we'll bust out our trio. The FMK girls. Ooh, nice. Love that. Okay, attack reels. Do better this time, Waka. There we go. That's what we like to see. That's what we like to see, boy. Good job. Good job, Waka. Yeah, this is the auto Regan guy. He goes into his shell and then, like, regenerates. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Let's... Let's summon our girls. Come on, ladies. Let's get in formation. Then once he goes into the shell, we dis we're gonna dismiss them. Because I think if I remember right, you have to use magic once he goes into the shell. So we're just trying to get him down as fast as we can. Konoko, can you grab me the, the passage of what it says after he goes in the shell? Because I think it's only certain kinds of attacks you can use at that point. Yeah, he'll retreat into his shell and initiate auto Regan. Um, and becomes immune to physical attacks. That's right. So I gotta use magic attacks once he goes in his shell. Yep, after, you know, go back up. If you do enough damage, then he will skip that phase, but I don't think that's gonna happen. We are way stronger than we were, but we're not, like, that much stronger. Like, I've still, I've not completed the sphere grid. You guys saw. Yeah. Bring me to life. 
I never seen him approach. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think last time um he went into his shell like so fast. But uh but yeah. Zap. They, they do a lot of damage. Like the level up really made a big difference. It really really did. I think we might could get him this time. Not sure how we're going to handle Dubon, though. That attempt was not good. Not good at all. I like her doing that 9999. That's nice. Look at that. Boom. Many, many nines. That's what we like to see. I thought he walked with his leggies. He kind of looks like he should, doesn't he? Kind of looks like he should walk with his leggies. They're kind of like in front of him, like like seal flippers. Okay, now we dismiss. And it's magic time. Alright, so we do... Uh, let's see. We're gonna double cast some Ultimas. Hell yeah. And I'm gonna get Lulu in here to do that too, and I guess Titus can copycat. So let's see how much damage is. Total. <laughs> So she's doing 30 and 30. Okay, so we are doing more damage than he's reckoning. So that's good. We are technically doing more damage. So we could maybe do this this time. I'm wondering if I maybe should have done two rounds of insane leveling up. Because look, Titus isn't doing more. Like, Titus is doing 18 plus 12. Oh, but then he only regged 100. Interesting. Okay. Well, you know, I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. Okay, we can do... Let's do an Ultima Fury. Let's see how many I can get. Probably not very many, but at least more than two. Ah, four. Okay. That's really difficult. I ta I'm taking him back to, like... The very first Mario Party when we destroyed the palms of our hands trying to do the rotation <laughs> mini games in that game. All right. <clears throat> Damn, bitch! Don't you Kiraga like that? That's so rude. And this is the part that I feel like is gonna make him take forever. Getting through this Regan phase. <gasps> Weasel! Thank you so much! And you just followed the other day, like last week. And now you're subscribing. I really, really appreciate that. Thank you so much for using your Prime on me. Um, I absolutely love it when you make Jeff Bezos spend his money. It's my favorite thing in the whole world. So thank you very much. Hell yeah. Nice rave emote. So, okay, can we do this? I'm just like, I'm looking at the math. Cause sometimes he regans for like a fuck ton. Yeah, see like that, like sometimes the regan is like more damage than I just did. Like, especially for Titus. But Yuna does a good amount of damage. And so, um, and so does Lulu. Oh, <laughs> Weasel, the anonymous follows. There's anonymous follows. But I don't think I can make it anonymous for subscriptions. Like, I mean, I can have the alerts not come up, but Twitch's default things will still pop up no matter what I do. But follows are. But I don't know. I don't know if you can turn that off for, like, subs and bits and things.
or if Twitch is still going to announce it in the chat, no matter what you do. But you can totally just lurk. I don't have to talk to you. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. All right. I think this is going to happen. This is going to happen. It's just going to take a second. It's just going to take a second. But I got I got my two good magic girls and then Titus copycatting them. So this should work out. I hope. Looks like it might just be a case like we had of when we were doing the uh, different magic ones under the area and species conquest. The ones where you had to just use magic over and over. And it took me forever. So while we're while we're watching this, <laughs> while we're watching this, y'all know I love Disney, right? Y'all know I've been playing the hell out of Disney Dreamlight Valley. I can't put it down. I can't stop. Like, stream is my Dreamlight Valley break. <laughs> um, can't stop, won't stop. It's so good. But knowing how much I love um, Disney, I just have to tell you guys. I just have to tell you guys. The Little Mermaid trailer looks like hot garbage. It looks brown and gray. Why is it brown and gray? Why is every Disney remake so colorless? I hate it. I think it looks like crap. And I know if you go on Twitter, what you'll see is like all kinds of nonsense. Okay. But here's the deal. Here's the deal with that. It looks bad. Okay. And I am very, very sorry to all the people who are excited to have Black Ariel. I think that is very exciting. I think the the actress, Helly uh, Bailey, I think is her name, something like that. I think her voice sounds beautiful. I think her face looks quite a lot like the animated Ariel, truth be told. And I'm very sorry that she is stuck in this muddy, disgusting, dark movie. But honestly, I hated the look the second I saw it before she even came on screen. And I saw those like realistically computer animated fish and it made me flash back to the horrible Lion King remake. And I was already done. I was done. The, the first frame. The first frame I was like, done. And then it's no better when you get in the cave. It's no better when you get in the cave. It's so dark. It's so dark. She, you can tell that she has this like beautiful flowing tail. But no, you can't because you can't see it. You don't get to see it. Okay? You just get... You just get like a little glimpse of an outline of what could be a very beautifully animated mermaid tail. But you do not get to actually enjoy it with your eyes. No. Because everything in this movie is color graded to gray. It's just gray. The whole thing. It's just gray. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I like... <laughs> I love Disney, you guys. I love Disney. And I am just like, every single one of these remakes that they make, like, it hurts me in the soul a little bit more. Every single one. Every single one. My soul just dies. And I'm so tired of it. I'm so tired of seeing this. I don't understand why I'm being subjected to it. It drives me fucking crazy. It looks bad. I'm not going to watch the movie. I'm not going to watch that stupid Pokemon movie. I mean, Pokemon movie. <laughs> Pokemon's way better. Um, I'm not going to watch the stupid Pinocchio remake. Like, why? <sighs> I'm just looking to see... Okay. Becomes immune to all physical attacks. So I guess I could summon Anima. I guess I could... Okay, I guess I could Grand Summon... Okay. Come on, Mom. We're gonna Oblivion. We're gonna Oblivion. So yeah, that's my hot take. That's my hot take. This movie looks like- it looks like garbage. It looks like garbage. Not for the reasons conservative Twitter would have you think, but it looks like hot garbage. And I can't believe they're doing this. 
They did this to Beauty and the Beast, and now they're doing it to Little Mermaid. I'm just done. They did it to Lion King. It's like they're they're doing it to all of my favorites. They're doing it to all of my favorite Disney movies, and um, and I hate it. Did that get him? Did I just oblivion him to death? Oh no, his shell is gone. Oh, we did not get this far last time. We did not get this far last time. You guys. Oh my God. Okay. Ha 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 ha. Hmm. Okay. It says if it's struck by a purifying salt, it's defense and magic defense stop to one. Nacelle can still enter a hiding phase, but it won't reckon or block physicals. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Feel the pain. Feel the pain of mother-in-law. Yes. Okay. We got past the shell part, you guys. That was the part I was so damn nervous about. But we did it. We did it! We did it! Yay! We did it! Now we can destroy him! Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Oh, maybe we can beat three things. Maybe we can beat three things this stream. Exciting! Oh, bye, Anima. Bye, Anima. See you later. See you later. Okay. Um. Oh, we don't need to do all that. Okay. Wait. Uh. Oren's got his overdrive. Let's do that. Let's do a banishing blade. Okay. Yes. 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 Yeah. 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 Get him. Get him. Get him. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. You guys. Let's go! Let's go! Heck to the yeah! Um, Kimari's overdrives aren't that good. I don't know, there's no point in that. There's no point in that. Let's just get Waka back out. All right. All right. Let's go Waka. Attack! Uh, let's protect. Let's protect. Waka. Okay. Yes, what is this? Megaton. I, it was it was doing it on Anima. What is this doing? Ouchie. Ow. Ow. I gotta switch my armor next time. Don't let me forget to switch my armor. Okay, attack reels. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's banishing blade again. Heck yeah. Let's go, let's go. Come on, we can do it. He can't have that much HP left, can he? He can't. He's gotta be dead soon. Get out of here, Nestlug. Get out of here. Nobody wants your nonsense. Okay. Um Yes, we can do Yuna a potion. Give Yuna a potion. I just got an email from Neon Tech that does the Pokemon Go. It says reserve your in-game username for NBA All World. You're make are they making an NBA one of those kind of games? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> the heck? Why? Why? I mean, they made like a Pikmin one and a Harry Potter one and both of those sucked. Pokemon Go was the only one that was any good. <gasps> Overkill! Yes! <clears throat> Goodbye, Nestlug. Nobody wanted you here anyway. Heck yeah. Let's get some twerking and some caramel dance in. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Let's level Urpa. Level Urpa. That was so successful. That was so successful. I really, really just was underleveled last time. 
That's all there was to it. Uh, there's all there was to it. Bada bum, bum, bum. Another one bites the dust. Bada bum, bum, bum. Another one bites the dust. And another one down, and another one down, and another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. Okay. Uh, we're gonna do... Okay, we're gonna level up. We're gonna level up. Um, Quineco, can you put in the chat the um, Shinryu uh, strategy? I know, because that's the one where I only get my swimmy guys. Only my swimmy guys can come. Um, so I want to see if... But he has, like, a, not very much HP. So I want to see if we can try him next. Um, so that's going to be Waka, Waka Riku, and Titus. Okay, Titus gets some spheres too. And while while you're doing that, I'm going to do the pin for our new sub. Every time we get a new sub here um, on my stream, we got to save too. Every time we get a new sub on my stream, we pull a pin from the pin box and we add it to the pin curtain. Okay, let's pause for a second. Let's go to the webcam. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Let me get the pin box. Okay. What pin are we going to pull this time, you guys? What pin are we going to pull? into the pin box. Oh, it is Robin Hood. Okay, wait. Focus. I won't focus. I'm looking. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay. So we're going to add him to we go. Here we go. Now Robin Hood is on the pin curtain, you guys. Robin Hood's on the pin curtain. Let's try to catch them. All right. Oh, I need to buy more balls. Exactly. That is where he belongs, Koneko. All right. I'm going to be right back. Like, two minutes. Um, I need a quick bathroom break. So I will be... I'll be right back. Two minutes, guys. Two minutes. You can time me. All right. We're back. I think that was only, like, one minute. A fast. All right. Let's go back to the game. All right. Let's see what we're looking at. Okay, Shinryu counters hostiles with a physical attack and often uses erasure. I remember this, which petrifies, and it's gonna, yep, even with ribbon, it just shatters them. Okay, um, Shining, which inflicts non-elemental magic-based damage with eight hits in random char characters. Okay, it specifies Shinryu, the party has maxed out many of their stats, max luck and magic, or HP of... Are not necessary. Okay, this way Shimmeru's counterattack and magic attack will do less than a thousand damage, even without shell and protect. The party should be using Hastaga and hack away using quick hits, which will be countered. If Riku, Titus, and Waka have obtained their celestial weapons, yes, yes, yes. Um, after two characters have been erased, will not use eraser on the last one, which will position it ideally cast auto life and keep using quick hit. Okay. All right, let's see. Do I have any items that will do auto life? Do I need to just teleport them all to auto life? Might be what I need to do. Okay, let's go look at our sphere grid for these guys. Um, actually, let's do... Before I freaking forget, we're gonna put our protect armor back on. Okay, protect armor is back on. All right, let's go look at the sphere grid. Where is auto life on the sphere grid? Dragon, that's Kiraga. Air change. What's this? Holy. 
Hmm. This is quick pockets. I thought the auto life was down here somewhere. Reflect, dispel, use, luck. What's this? Copycat. This is full life. Tribe, is auto life not on the sphere grid? Do you have to use items for it? Mm hmm. What's this guy? I think this is all. This is a double cast. Okay. Death. Maybe it's not this. This, this is Ultima. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Google Gamer Go. Final Fantasy X Auto Live. I'm gonna get Auto Live. It is on the sphere grid. Behind some locks. Where the heck in heck are you? In the middle of something. Sloga. There's like a picture of it on this thing. Armor break. Cosmos. The Darkbuster? No. Mandaga. Distractibility. Right power. Power break. Is this it? Full break? No. The picture makes it look like it's in the top left of something. Yoga? I'm not seeing this. Is it over here? No. no. So it looks like there's an ability in the middle, and then the auto life itself is some magic around the corner. What is Lulu near? Um, I'm not sure. Demi? Yeah, Demo, Demi is what she's near. The thing that it's on has an ability in the middle, and then the auto life is like around- Ah, oh, here it is! Auto life! Okay. Only- let's see. Okay, so Yuna... Looks like Yuna, Riku, and Lulu have it? Yeah, Yuna has it. Riku. Um, oh, I lost it again. Yeah, Luna, Riku, and Lulu have it. Okay. So it's over here. So, okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Any allies location to a previously activated node to any node. Okay, we're gonna warp them. We're gonna warp these bibbies. We're gonna warp these bibbies and get some auto life. Okay. Everybody needs auto life. When they're by themselves, they're gonna need to cast it. And only Riku can cast it right now. Okay, so we gotta get to where. Everyone can cast it. All right. Then we don't have to teleport for him. We can friend sphere. We can friend sphere Titus over there. And then we're going to use power sphere and an ability sphere. Okay. Yes. All right. So we're going to use Waka, Titus, and Riku. Alright. Let's try. Let's try Shinryu.
He was very scary last time. Kept shattering my bibbies. You don't want to be shattered, right, Oreo? I got your tail. Okay, bye. I thought maybe I would get him to turn around, but he said no. <laughs> okay, let's, um... Oh, she doesn't have quick hit. That's right, she doesn't have quick hit. Um... Let's go! Let's see. I'm seeing if there's anything that might be worth doing. Black absorbs MP, Regan absorbs HP. Okay. Doubles. Let's see. Doubles max MP, doubles max HP. Um. I guess we can stamina tonic. Since they're 999, I guess it's not going to do anything. Oh, but it's max HP, right? So this is still... No, it's going to stay at 9999. That was a waste. Whatever. I may need to get her quick hit, too. Does he have quick hit? Yes, he does. It's just Riku that doesn't have quick hit. Maybe Riku can heal while they quick hit. Let's see. You got some Albed potions? I must have used them all. I don't have any Albed potions. Okay, well, anyways. Her overdrive is up, so we are going to do two underdog secrets. Like we've been doing. Sunburst. Boom! Mucho damage. Alright. I guess we should just use Mega Potions. Yeah, we should just use Mega Potions for our healing. <clears throat> Poor Riku. Poor Riku kind of like behind everybody. Oh, here's that shining attack. That's not... Oh, that is kind of annoying. That is kind of annoying. Okay. Let's attack Reels. Let's, does he, is he still going to counter? I wonder. Is he still going to counter? For, uh, for this? For an overdrive? Find out. Yes, he still does counter. Okay, good to know. Um, okay, let's overdrive for you as well, friend. Oh my god. <laughs> that was a fail. <laughs> that was a total fail. Uh, okay. I mean, he'll still do decent damage, yeah. Okay. Do you have any mixes that are, like, super healing? Let's see. Let's see what's a good healing mix we can do. Riku healing mix. There's gotta be some good ones in here. Um, let's see. See, let's see, let's see. Um Yes, we can do super elixir. Which is a Oh, we don't have a regular potion. Um We can't do super elixir. Oh, wait. High potion. So we can do a high potion plus 
um, an amulet. Either an amulet, a teleport sphere, an attribute, or a special sphere. Let's see. Want to hear me rant about a very random thing? Koneko, I always want to hear you rant about super random things. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Okay. We can do... Oh, it's a, oh, a special sphere. So we could do a magic dispense sphere. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so they're all back up. And then we can quick hit. Ooh. <sighs> okay, and it fucking starts. But I don't know if I did enough damage. I don't know if I did enough damage. Okay, anyway. Mmm. This guy gives me anxiety. The eraser thing. Like, it's just like, ah! I hate it. So today we had pie for dinner. For some reason, there's wine in almost all pies. For flavoring? Yeah, I guess cooking wine, right? The thing is, the pie I had was chicken, bacon, cheese pie. Oh my god, that sounds so good. Um, you don't need any flavoring when you have bacon. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I think you could still have some uh, wine reduction in that. But anyway, the wine took away the bacon and cheese flavors. What the hecky? I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm not on board. I think it sounds real. That sounds really good. Putting wine in things that already have good flavor is a waste, and I won't let anyone tell me otherwise. I'm here to tell you otherwise. I'm here to tell you otherwise. <laughs> I think it sounds great. Kawaka does have quick hit. Okay. Yeah, so it's only Riku that doesn't have quick hit. Yeah, I'm here to tell you otherwise, friend. I don't know. Um, I think that sounds delicious. Okay, and they're all going to die because I didn't heal, and now it's his turn, and he's going to do something that kills me. Oh, he's doing the eraser. Okay. Who are you going to take out? Waka. Okay, bye, Waka. All right, so now we need to do... Uh, yes. We need to do auto life. So that you come back if you die. Because apparently he's not going to do eraser anymore. Okay, so then we do auto life again. We're gonna have to keep just auto-lifing and quick-hitting, I guess. But he keeps countering. Then I have to cast auto-life again, otherwise he's gonna kill me. I'm like trapped in this loop. Shining would definitely kill me, because then it's going to have all eight of the attacks on Titus. Okay. I don't know how I'm supposed to do this. I don't know how I'm supposed to do this. I feel like I'm trapped in a loop. If I don't have auto life up, he's going to kill me. And then he's just going to keep countering every time I cast it. This is dumb. I'd be okay with it if I could still taste the bacon, but I couldn't taste the bacon. Well, that just means that they don't know how to cook. That just means that they don't know how to cook. Anyway. <sighs> That's not going to work. The auto life strat is not going to work. Okay. Um, what if we get Riku? Where's Quick Hit? To be fair, it's British food. The Brits are weird of food. It's true. It's true. Um, their national dish is curry for a reason, because the Brits don't actually know how to cook. So, you know, they just cook other things. Oh, I never got her pill for Gil. Oops. Ha! Huh. That was not intentional. What's this? Jinx? Let's see. Sloga... Delay attack. Come on, where's quick hit? That's cheer. Flee. Haste. Threaten. Armor break. Come on, where's quick hit? Lancet. Uh, Man, this is Kimari's area. I know that it's over. It's in, like, Titus's area. Mm -hmm. 
Ankle break, armor break, full foul, silence buster. It's like totally the wrong area. It's not over here. Pork pie is hella good though. We had a few days ago and I love that, but it was just pork and eggs and a little um, with a little pork gravy, no wine. I mean, that does sound good. Like, honestly, like, meat in a pastry sounds delicious. I do feel like it would be hard to mess that up. So that person heard that challenge, I guess, and um, and said, watch me. I can mess it up. Dark attack. Oh, gosh. Where are you? Come on, quick hit. Can't be far. I'm gonna look up pork pie recipes for it because it's so good. Oh, and then you can you can make it. Let's see. Quick hit. FFX here grid. Now, I just want a picture of where the heck it is on the spear grid. down here. She's done all this. She does have quick hit. I don't know why I didn't see it. Okay. What the heck can I do to do more damage? What the heck can I do to do more damage, you guys? Okay. Let's see. thinking I could try to do a trio nine nine but I'm already doing I'm already doing that damage hmm we're just gonna try again we're just gonna try again I need to do more damage faster I need to do more damage faster all right we are going to Cinder Skills. Quick hit. We're going to quick hit. Yeah, but then that's going to get low HP. Okay. I know that Riku does the least amount of damage. So maybe we just always have her doing high potions on whoever has the lowest HP. Just to keep people up. They're not dying. I mean, we're doing good damage. We're doing good damage. I'm just like... Just... I don't know. Oh, that did that on her. That was a waste. That's not what I thought that would do. Okay, anyway, let's attack reels. Because <clears throat> we're doing good damage here, it just we're not doing it fast enough. You have to do the damage like super fast on this guy, obviously. And I don't have my Aeons to help me out. Oh, and then he's gonna do stupid shining. <sighs> Poor Waka. Sorry, Waka. Sorry, Waka. He only has two mil, like I just, he only has two mil. And yet. And yet. Guess we'll get back up. I'm like wasting, I'm like wasting by doing this healing. Do you have double cast? She doesn't. Um. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let's spare change. I mean, we have a lot of gill. We have a lot of gill. 
There we go. We're going to spare change for the max. He does look really cool when he attacks. That's true. I do love the, the look of this guy. Okay. Time to energy rain. There we go. Good. I got it. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Uh, we need to heal more. Oh my god, he baps are here. It's like a cat bathing a toy. He does! Boop! Only the bap actually, like, really fucking hurts. <clears throat> She only has two mil. He only has two mil. Like, I feel like I should be able to do this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let's attack reels again. Damn, that was bad. That was really bad. Waste. Yeah, I don't want him to get countered, so I'm not going to do that. All right. He didn't use that stupid eraser, like, I would totally have no problems killing him. I really, really wouldn't. But because he gets me down to just one character. It's like, the fuck. <sighs> stupid. Stupid. I'm already hasted, like... And here we go. Here it begins. Here it begins. Like, I guess I'm just, I'm just not doing enough damage fast enough for this stupid guy. Not get another situation before where I was so low I was stuck in a loop. Let's heal him back up. I'm really like so useless without Yuna and her Aeons. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm a stupid shiny with only two characters. That's gonna hurt. Anima, Anima is a win button. She is a win button. Um, she's amazing. And without her, I am lost. Without the Anima, I don't know what to do. I think I must need higher defense because I'm wasting a lot of time healing back up. And I think that I need to not be doing that. But the only way to not do that is to get more defense. Oh so yeah, I think this one maybe take another level up. Because even if I make like all of the even if I make, like, all of the overdrives, it's not going to be enough. It's not going to be enough because he does, because of the eraser thing. I'm wasting too many turns on this stupid stuff.
then I can't hit it. <laughs> uh, I think the problem is that he's too fast. You need more speed. Yeah, I mean, more speed would help too. More speed or more defense would absolutely help. Either of those. Because then I could get more turns in. Because even though I'm hasted, it's like, it's not enough. Even though I'm hasted, it's not enough. I need more speed. More speed to go mo fast. Oh, I like the counterattack, though. That's nice of you. Alright, we are healed back up. We can go do some more quick hits. And attack reels! Ah, there we go. Did that one good. <clears throat> okay, we need more healies. Yeah, like all these turns that I'm spending healing, like, it's not, it's not serving me. It's not serving me to kill him fast. I need to be using quick hit majority of my turns, but I can't. Because if I get too low like this, then I'm stuck in a loop. All right, we're healed back up. Let's overdrive. I swear I hit it in the middle and sometimes it doesn't register. <laughs> I swear that happens on his energy drain. I think something is off with the frames or something. But then sometimes I can get it great. Oh, and here comes Eraser. Oh, and he's doing it on Waka. Fucking fantastic. I love that. Favorite. Now I'm going to be stuck in a loop again, because I've only got a little bit of HP. Yep, this is, this is pointless. Yeah, because I know what happens at this point. Yep, I have to level up more. I have to level up more for Shinryu. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. I know, Rip. Ripperoni. Ripperoni. Hey, but you know what? The leveling up I did between this stream and last stream, it's gotten us two so far. It's gotten us two so far. Okay. Let's try Ultima Buster. Let's try Ultima Buster. Okay, let's get our dream team. Oh, I didn't... Lulu has spheres to do. Oh, no. Okay, let's fix that. I don't know why I missed those spheres down there. She... Oh, I guess she didn't go past them. Oh, I see what happened. Okay. All right, Dream Team is back together, friends. Let's try Ultima Buster. Two arms that shield the body against physical attacks. Okay. Its head has a contamination attack. Oh, this thing is gonna look like the thing that's at that was at um the when you before you get to Jose. Okay. Poison and zombie can't be blocked, even with ribbon, okay. The arms and head each have 80k on their own. The arms will generate after the body gets three or four turns, okay, okay, okay. If the head is attacked between when it starts moving and when it, okay, it will not use contamination. Unlike Sin Spawn Glee, the head's physical attack sees the same animation as the body attacking. The arms do not attack, but when present, they give the body lots more defense. 
Yes, auto haste and auto protect for all members helps. A party member should cast Ultima to damage both the head and the arms. Yuna should summon the Maga sisters and have Mindy use Posado. Waka with his world champion. Yes, okay. Um, everyone can entrust their overdrives to Waka. Yes, okay. Um, is to attack the arms and heads. All participating members should have maxed out strength defense, magic defense. Okay, I think Anima Strat should work too. That's what it sounds like. It sounds like we can um, Anima and Maga sisters for the win. Okay. I think this that we can do this. Okay. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Yep. Okay. I guess we should go... Yeah, let's go ahead and summon Maga sisters. Like, why? Why fuck around? Why fuck around? Let's skip straight to find out. Let's skip straight to find out, guys. Maga sisters, let's go! Okay, we're gonna try to Maga sisters to victory. If slash when they die, um, we will do, uh, we will summon, um, anima. Yeah, that's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. Good job, babe. Your sweetheart. All right. <clears throat> Since we're deep into the stream now, and while the Maga sisters are absolutely wrecking it, let's talk about something. Let's talk about the serious thing. So, you guys know last week we had Ri on for the whole stream, and I was really just babying her because I just wanted to, you know, have the last that last day with her. We did end up putting her down on Friday, um, and I think I've told enough people that I can tell the story without crying. <laughs> Uh, we'll see. It was, um, it was very nice. You know, she had dementia, so that was really the whole reason. She didn't know her name anymore. She couldn't, like, do things anymore. She didn't ever play. She didn't ever relax. She was either sleeping or panicking all the time. So keeping her around was just cruel. But we didn't. If she, honestly, if she hadn't had gotten dementia, if she had just kept, like, it just been the mobility issues, I would have just carried her. I would have just carried her everywhere. Like, I don't, she was my baby, you know, I just carry her everywhere. And I would have. Um, but, uh, that's not what happened. So we did put her down on Friday. The doctor came to the house and did it, which was very, very nice. I really appreciated that. So I didn't even know that was an option. They will come to your house so that you don't have to take the animal to the scary, you know, vet and have them panic or whatever. So she kept everything really calm. It was really nice. And, um, and we did that. And they are going to send us, um, they, they're going to do a cremation and send us the ashes soon. I think maybe tomorrow even, along with like a nose print and a paw print and some really cute stuff like that. So we're going to have a little memorial for her. Um, and the thing that I wanted to tell you guys, this was something that I learned. Okay, so I think I got through the explanation without crying. Oh, okay. We can talk about the crazy part and not the sad part now. Um... This is something I did not I did not know. People say like when you lose somebody very close, like it's you still feel their presence or whatever. And I you know, I've lost relatives and friends and stuff. And I always thought that was that was like in a spiritual or metaphysical or like emotional sense, because I have felt that before. Okay, I have felt that before. But this was different. Okay. I guess because like I cared for her, like literally, you know, was responsible for her staying alive. It was different and, and it wasn't like, you know, it wasn't like childhood pets where your parents do a lot of work. <laughs> your parents still take them to the vet and things like that. Um, the grief doesn't live in the mind or in the soul. It lives in the body. Like when people say things like, oh, I can still feel them. Like... I did not understand that that was physical. I cannot stop hallucinating, hearing her and smelling her. And I can't stop dreaming about her. And it just, it just, it doesn't stop. And no one ever told me that. No one ever told me grief could be like that. So if you've not experienced it, now I'm here to tell you, grief can be like that. Um. Yeah, this is not just regular sad. This is, it's like in the body. Um, 
it's crazy. And no one ever told me. So I wanted to tell you guys so that you would know. This is something that can happen. It's not just spiritual hearing them or sensing them. It's like, it's physical. And I just never knew that. I never knew that. But yeah. Yeah, we overkilled. We overkilled on the hands and on the head. We're doing good. We're doing really good. We're going to summon Anima next. All right, come on. Anima, you can do it. Okay. We're actually doing really, really good on this one. I'm kind of surprised. I thought this would be another wall. Like the like Thuban and Shinryu were, but we actually doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good on this guy. I felt the hallucination thing when my favorite horse passed away. Whenever I was at the stable, I thought I would see him. Heck, when a horse with a different body type stood in a stable, it looked wrong, right? Yeah, that's what it is. And it's not like, it's not like in a metaphysical or spiritual sense. It's like, it's like my body is doing it. So like, she couldn't walk. Her last year of life, she couldn't walk. So we pick her up and carry her everywhere. Um, especially in the mornings when it's time to go outside, go to the bathroom, because she's been sleeping all night, right? And I... I feel her. It feels like I'm picking her up, but she's not there. And I'm not doing it. Like my arms aren't doing anything. I'm like having a cup of coffee, you know, but I feel like I'm picking her up. It's the craziest thing. It's the craziest thing. And no one ever told me it could be like that. I I had no idea. I had no clue um, that it could be like that. But yeah, I guess when it's like, when it's someone that's like, truly your responsibility, it's, it's different. And like, I mean, and I had lots of pets and stuff as a, as a kid and things like that, that were ultimately my responsibility, but I was responsible for like feeding and cleaning and playing with them. I wasn't, res I, you know, when they need to go to the vet, it would be like, my parents would help, you know, and they were always there to help with things. Oh, motherfucker. I guess we weren't doing very well on this guy. We thought we were. Um. Okay. Anyway. That felt like it... Okay, how much health does he have? That felt like it was going really well. Um, how much health does he have? Five mil. Five mil. Let's try again. Let's try again. I feel like that was maybe just unlucky. That was maybe just unlucky. Let's try again. It gets even wonkier because when Ted, the current horse in the stable, just arrived, I for a second legit saw Lean Turt because they had similar body types and head silhouettes and even colors and markings. I believe you. I be that's like the kind of thing that's happening to me. That's the kind of thing that's happening to me. Yeah, it should be doable. It's unlucky. Got an Ultima and a regular attack on Anima. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This feels like it should be doable. With um with our anima powers. Okay, let's let's see. Yeah, I feel like we can do this one. Hopefully we have enough time to conquer it, but this feels like not like the other two where I don't think I need to level up more. I think I can do this. Oh my god. You have the power of God and Anima on your side. That's right! I do, I do. I do. <clears throat> and you know, you know what the grief has felt like? You know what the grief has felt like, honestly? It's felt very similar in the, like, in the body sense, the way that, like, you know, when you're a teenager, well, I don't know. I know, I know you're mostly asexual, Kaneko, but <laughs> I don't know if you've ever been through this. But when you're a teenager, like high school, early college, and like the hormones are like raging and like your significant other breaks up with you like it feels like in the body like life is done like that's the closest thing i can think of to what this grief feels like only it's not it's not hormone related it's just like my whole body is in despair yeah that was good that was good My hormones just gave me depression. Oh, motherfucker. So I can't survive the Ultima. His he's, his magic is too strong. I guess I really do have to use Aeons for this. Um, I have to summon the Aeons pretty quick. Okay. 
Um, okay. Try again. My hormones just gave me depression, but yeah, too felt like my body was just 100% done. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. Uh, what do I want to do? Maybe I can give auto life to Yuna? Yeah, it couldn't hurt. It couldn't hurt. Let's see. Hmm, maybe I should give everybody auto life. Maybe that will help. Mm, excuse me. What does he have? Oh, he has auto life too. Oh, but I can do it overdrive. Let's actually attack reels. Let's attack reels. <sighs> Missed the last one. Dang it. Well, still got one arm. That's still got one arm down. It's pretty good. That's pretty darn good. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. One down. Okay. Um. All right. So this is Yuna's last turn. All right. Maga sisters, let's go. Yeah, I feel like I feel like with Aeons, this guy is beatable. I feel like it is possible. Just have to get lucky. Have to get lucky. Oh hey Karen, how's it going? Aw, oh, dang it. Little slow. How are you doing today, Karen? This Karen's doing good. <laughs> Hello. Okay, got the other arm. I out of water. That's oh, okay. <clears throat> Taking a break, bitch. Yeah, this is why... It like, the Maga Sisters are OP, because they can, like, survive the Ultima. So they were surviving it before. Doing a good job with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we like to see. That's what we like to see. Mm-hmm. We did. We did bonk two bosses. But I told myself, like, I want to try to do three this stream. Because we only did two last stream, and I feel like we're about to be only doing two this stream, too. But, uh, I feel like we could do three. I feel like we could do three. Feeling a tad feverish out of nowhere right now, but I'm alive. Oh, I'm so sorry. Well, get you some uh, rest and, um, you know, a blankie. Uh, laying down with a blankie always makes me feel better when I've got, when I'm having like temperature issues like that, you know, fevering or whatever. I don't know why, even if it, even if I'm hot, laying with a blankie helps for some reason. Yeah. Need to get go to the hydration station. I have a living hot water bottle known as a cat. Oh, those are nice. I like those. What's up, Queen? Come on. You wanna say hi to everybody? Come here. You wanna say hi? Oh, she wanna say she hungry. What? You wanna say hi? Hi, Queen. Oh, that y'all can see a little bit. Fluffy tail. You can see her tail through the camera a little bit. You hunger queen? Eat that kibble. Nom nom. <clears throat> oh, the arms regenerated. Okay. Well, this is about how far we got last time, so maybe we'll get a little farther. Well, the, that's how far we got the first this first attempt. So let's see if we can get farther this time. Maybe this will be a better attempt. Why did you attack the middle when you need to get the arms? Oh, that ultima is going to kill them. Because they're close to dead anyways. Well, bye babes. 
Bye bye. See you later. It's okay, we'll get the mother in law in next. Yeah, Effie, you're not. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. Well, sure. I mean, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, there we go. And they don't have halos this time, so this is going to be it. will be it. Wow, I can't believe you survived, Effie. Use a tank. Use a brick. House. Bye, ladies. See you next time. See you next time. You did good, though. You did good. Alright. Did I... Protect haste and auto life? Okay. Guess we could shell up. We can shell up. Let's shell Waka. Try to protect against that Ultima. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's shell up. <laughs> you shall not pass. Yeah, we're trying. All right. Let's grand summon Miss Giggles. All right, Giggles, you can do it. I believe in you. All right. You only get one turn before the boss. Let's go. Let's use Oblivion for it. That should kill the arms and the head, I would think. Oh, well, it killed the arms, but not the head. And then here comes the Ultima, before I got a chance to shell. Oh, I was afraid of that. I was afraid of that. Yep. I should have shelled. I should have shelled before going for the Oblivion. Yep, 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 yep. The head dead? Waka should be able to hit the head, but I can't seem to target it. Maybe the head's dead. Maybe the head is dead. Okay. Now that they're all shelled and auto-lifed... Maybe. Maybe, just maybe. Yeah, it must have. Must have. Okay. Do I want to do I want to keep attacking or do I want to I scared. I scared. We're going to summon. We're going to summon again cuz I scared. Come on, Floofy. Come on, Floofy. Fuzzy Wuzzy wasn't very fuzzy, was he? Okay. Let's try this. Let's try this. Bitch, why would you do this to me? What did I ever do to you? All I ever did was try to kill you, but that's literally all you exist for. You were created to be killed. And here comes the Ultima. Magic is just so strong. His Ultima does a lot of damage. He got too much magic stat. He got too much magic stat. Yep. I knew it. Okay. 
Okay, I don't need to summon quite yet because she's got another turn. Why don't we double cast some Ultima? There we go. See what happens. All right, arms down again. All right, let's keep going with the quick hits. Let's keep going. Let's keep going with this strategy. Because I'm just really, I'm really nervous that I can't survive his Ultima. So. I'm really nervous that I can't survive his Ultima. So, we're gonna, we're gonna do this. I don't know if she's gonna do a lot of damage. Oh no, she did a lot of damage. She did good. She did good. And the Ultima probably gonna get her. Bye kisses. See you later. I blow you kisses. Yeah. It's just so strong. It's just so strong. All right. Mm, no, we don't have to do that yet. We can double cast some Ultimas. <clears throat> he just, he has a lot of HP. He has a lot of HP. Five mil, that's a lot. I mean, I'm doing a lot of damage, but still. He's got a lot of HP. I think I've got them all set to like comrade though so oh wait eventually i'm gonna be out of summons and i'm just gonna have to <laughs> see what happens when he ultimas me with my shell and auto life <laughs> but i don't want to i'm scared i'm scared um what if i can you double cast ultimas you can double cast ultimas Okay, let's do it. Let's double cast some ultimas. At least we can do some damage before he ultimas us and we die. I wish I could um, scan and see like how much HP he has left. But you can't do that on these guys. But I really just want to see a health bar. Like, literally, that's it. I don't need the rest of the info from the scan. I just need a health bar. Bye, Cuddles. See you next time. See you next time, Cuddles. Alright. Go back to our quick kit strat. Keep going to skill for my double cast. Oh, that was a weird angle. It chose a really weird angle there, so I got like all black screen for a second. That was weird. <clears throat> all right, quick hit. We're all the way down to Snuggles. Uh, don't see you often, babe. How's it going? How's it going, Snuggles? Okay, good. I got you Ultima too. I'm glad I spent time getting my Aeons all these skills because they come in clutch. 
come in absolutely clutch. Let's see. Let's see. So if we have five mil, try to buy like we're doing like 30k each time. I think it's gonna take over a hundred hits. I think like over a hundred hits. Bye, Snuggles. Ah, oh, arms are back. Okay. At least the head's not coming back. I wonder if the head does come back on this guy. I mean, I assume it eventually does, but the arms just regenerate way faster. All right, this should kill the other arm too, I would think, with how much damage the ultimate's doing. Yep. Yeah. All right, we're down to Plucky. We've got Jingles, but like I almost never use him because I don't ever want to look up like how much money I have to pay him to make him do what I want. <laughs> it's complicated. It's complicated. So I don't do it. Uh, but we might be using Jingles in a second. I know he can do a lot of damage. And I know there's calculators online. Guess I should pull one up because we're about to end up using it. Oh, it's an Excel file. Is there a Google Sheets version? I don't have Excel installed. I don't have Excel installed. Bye, Plucky. Oh, this keeps taking me back to the same one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I guess I'll just pay him a fuck ton of money. I mean, I have a fuck ton of money, so... It's okay. Yep, double cast Ultima. Oh, I won't. Oh, I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna hit time. I think we're gonna hit time. I feel like. Well, before we do, we're gonna find out if the party being shelled can survive his ultima. At least we will find that out. Oh no. Um, you need. Let's see. Yeah, we'll just do that. I don't want to only restore a little bit of your MP. That's silly. All right. Um, let's do our quick hit. Mm, okay. Summon time. All right. We've gone through all of our summons. <laughs> last summon, you guys. Last summon. Come on, Yojimbo. <laughs> Make me proud. Do something. Do something. Let's just... Here. Just take all of my money, babe. Just take all of it. There we go. Done motto. Slice. 
What? Did that really work? Did that work? But it didn't even say overkill or anything. Does Zen Motto just kill? Wait. What does? Is this what I get for like never ever using Ojimbo on my gajillions of fucking playthroughs of this game? I like never use him. I never use him. <laughs> I literally never use him. <laughs> it's an instant KO. <gasps> it's an instant KO. I literally never use it. I play this game, no lie, beaten it like six or seven times and I just never use him. I had no idea it would do that to bosses. No clue. <laughs> Thank you, Koneko. Thank you, Koneko. Um, I guess no matter what, I learn something about this game every time. I'm convinced we were close to beating him. But anyway, at least we did beat three bosses this time. <laughs> like I was hoping for. <laughs> okay, so next time we still have Thuban, Shinryu, and Nemesis to beat. We still have those three to beat. And I think... I think definitely for Thuban and Shinryu, I have to level up. I, I assume Nemesis is the same because I remember when we looked at the strategy last week, Koneko was just like, it was just like, good luck. Good luck. <laughs> so, uh, yes. <laughs> uh, we'll see. <clears throat> Anyways. Did not realize Enmato did that. <laughs> How does... Oh, I love that you spelled it with a J, Koneko. I love you. <laughs> uh, hang on. Okay. Wait. Let's save. Okay, did I save? Did I save? Yes, 2018. Yes, I saved. Okay. Let's watch this clip together. Let's watch this clip together. Here we go. Let's, uh... Um... I love it. I love it. Time. And you know... And you know, Twitch doesn't let me like fix your clips. All I can do is like keep them or delete them. So it's just, it's beautiful. I love it. Here we go. Time. All right, we've gone through all of our summons. Last summon, you guys, last summon. Come on, Yojimbo. Make me proud. Do something. Do something. Let's just, here. Just take all of my money, babe. Just take all of it. There we go. Zen Mato. Slice. <laughs> the look on my face. The confusion. What? Did that really work? <laughs> Did that work? But it didn't even say overkill or anything. <laughs> does Zen Mato just kill? Wait. What does... Is this what I get for, like never ever using Ojimbo on my gajillions of fucking playthroughs of this game. I would <laughs> never use him. Time. Yep, this is what I get. This is what I get. <laughs> oh, Koneko, that's the best clip. I don't know if that clip, if confused me there was better, or if confused and upset me cannot count in Denis on the Riven playthrough was better. I don't know which was better, but that was very funny. That was very funny. <laughs> oh my god, you guys. <laughs> All right. So a couple of things. Uh, next uh, artistic license. We're gonna play more Final Fantasy. I'm gonna level up in between, and we're gonna we're gonna attempt um, Thuban and Shinryu for sure. We're gonna get another 99 sphere levels, and then see and see how we do against those guys. Hopefully, we can also beat Nemesis. We've got three more um, original creations to beat. But we have to beat um, Thuban and Shinryu first before Nemesis will unlock. Okay, so we got to beat them. Um, on Saturday for Interstage Window, not streaming because Levi's birthday is Levi's birthday weekend. Okay, his birthday's on Monday, International Pirates Day, so we are not going to stream. Let's find someone to raid. Let's find someone to raid. Let's see who's playing Final Fantasy X. I'm looking at I'm looking at my friends that are online right now. 
And I feel like I have rated a lot of them recently. Um, we could I could also see who's online. I could see who's on on the Warriors of Light. See who's in the wool tag. Is anybody in the wool tag right now? Me. Me. That's it. And then the person we rated last time. <laughs> So we're not going to do that. Let's spread the love around, you guys. Let's spread the love around. Let's see who's streaming Final Fantasy X. All right. Got a couple of PNG streamers. There's me. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what we got. I'm looking at the thumbnails to see kind of like... I want to try to make sure it's somebody with a cam or whatever, so that it looks good. Um, let's see, this person looks fun. This, this person looks fun. You should post this clip separately on YouTube and make a confused Karen playlist. <laughs> that should just be like my raid trailer. I'll make a raid trailer. Um, it'll be confused Karen. All right, I'm stuck in an ad. I'm just waiting for the ad to go. And then I will just take take a peek, make sure the stream looks good. Okay. All right. I like their chat rules. They look nice. <clears throat> okay, there we go. Oh, yeah, and they're in the early game. They're in the, the Kilika. They're in Kilika doing the temple there. Let's raid this. Let's raid this person. E.M. Spider. There we go. All right. Ooh. All right, you guys, you should follow me on all the socials. You should follow me right here on Twitch if you would like to see more streams, which I know you would if you're still here at this point. Um, you should also follow me on Twitter. That's where I put all the latest updates for all the things. So you can get all of the good stuff there. I post all my VODs to YouTube, so please go subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can catch all the past broadcasts. And um, if you want to make sure that you get all the good notifications. You want to join my Discord because I actually control the notifications in there, unlike Twitch and YouTube, which are unreliable and actually giving you your notifications, even as you, if you ask for them. So yeah, that's it. All right, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the show. Um, I will see you next Thursday. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, of course, as always, to make it a great day.